In this video I'll be installing and reviewing Windows Home Server 2011. I'm going to be installing it in an old computer and some old parts that I had laying around. I've got a Thermaltake armor case that was no longer being used. There's a power supply I had uh, from an old system. I believe it's 700 watts which is a bit overkill and I wish it was modular anyway a lot of leftover cables especially when you're not using all of the uh, high-end graphics cards I've got a Core 2 Duo I believe it's a 6300 series then there's 8 gigs of RAM then just a random video card I think it's a Radeon 5450 I've got uh, two uh, 250 gigabyte hard drives that are going to have the operating system installed in a RAID 1 and then also in a RAID 1 for the data I've got two 2 terabyte hard drives this way I'll have uh, backups of backups so I think my data should be pretty safe in my home network this is the first time I've ever used Windows Home Server 2011 so I'll be going through and videoing some of my thoughts and things that I find along the way okay let's get started pretty simple to start pop the CD in the drive reboot the computer answer a question of where you want to put the operating system and here we are copying Windows files and expanding them now so I'm assuming that uh, this is just gonna kinda go like any other Windows installation then after a reboot a couple more questions like naming the server putting a password in setting the date and time correctly and now we are preparing this server looks like it could take up to 30 minutes and do not turn it off no kidding okay so the Windows home server is up and running it's downloading some updates right now I've done some uh, customizing of it and I set set it up to know where to back up to and stuff like that I haven't uh, connected any computers to it yet I want to play with it a little bit more, make sure I feel comfortable with it before I let it let it turn uh, itself loose. But so far, my initial thoughts are I like it. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm not very intelligent when it comes to the networking and the server end of things. So it is kind of nice that uh, it made it that easy for me. I'm sure there are better software or better operating systems for servers, but uh, this one kind of fit the bill price wise and ease of use I've got this he's replacing this media smart server over here from HP I like I like that server but it just doesn't have enough power for me it's got a Celeron processor in it seems to work pretty good but when you start having the server do some tasks it's just not enough processing power and there's not as much uh, customization to it that's where that's where this new one comes into play a little more power and certainly more customizable which is what I needed so I'll play around with a little more and see if I get any other thoughts or any other ups or downs along the way as I continue to set it up and then turn it loose on my home network